Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of guided editing and show you exactly what my editing process is. I thought that would be an interesting behind the scenes video for you guys, those of you who watch the ch channel I edit for, which is Everything Autos, or if you are just someone like me who does editing or maybe does editing in their spare time, um, you can get some tips and tricks from this video. Or if you just like to watch the editing process and you're interested to see what it's like behind the scenes. So for today's video, um, I opened up a brand new SD card, so I have not watched any of the footage on this SD card. Um, so what I do to upload the footage is I just hit import. I import the entire media folder, meaning every clip that's on the SD card, I put them all in here every single time so that I know that I'm using all the clips from it and that I know which ones I've used from the SD card and which ones I haven't yet for my reference. So for today, I am using a 128 gigabyte SD card. Um, it is not nearly as full as uh, they usually are. This has just got a couple of clips on it, so it might be easier for editing purposes, for viewing purposes of this video to kind of have just a small number of clips to show you guys so it's not as confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just start editing this and I'll just have you guys follow along with me and show you exactly what the editing process is like for me. This looks like to me um, a Gatlinburg PD call. It looks like a wreck on the spur to me. Sometimes they will tell me ahead of time what's on the SD cards, uh, sometimes they won't. And this is just one of those cases where I just open it up to be surprised. I had no idea what was on this SD card. And to be completely honest, this SD card is pretty old. So uh, I actually found this SD card buried underneath some of my other editing things. So I guess you can consider this lost footage. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is I like to note in my notebook exactly what the SD card is, um, the date that the footage begins recording and everything like that. And if you are curious to know how I organize my work notebook, I do have a video on that already up on my channel and I'll have that linked above so you guys can check that out if you're interested, um, how I stay organized working from home. So for today's SD card that I've just opened up, it is a 128, so I'm gonna write new 128 gigabyte SD. The color is red and white. We have some that are red and brown and we have some that are green. So I like to note which ones they are. And this footage is beginning. And it looks like if I hover over the first video card here, it is 625 2022. It is definitely an older SD card that I have lost but now found. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. So what I like to do is I like to write used with a little colon here and I will write down the clips that I used from the SD card for each video that I make. Typically, if it's a full 128 gigabyte SD card, I can get around three videos from it. Of course, allotting that each video is 30 minutes each about, roughly. Um, so if each video is roughly 30 minutes each, I can typically get three videos. Sometimes I can get four. Um, usually the fourth one is gonna be a little bit shorter than 30 minutes or I can start using some of the last clips from the 128 and then use some other clips from a different SD for one video. Uh, so that's typically what my normal work consists of. So this one being a little bit smaller, um, it's probably not going to be that long of a video, but I do have another uh, shorter video that I can tack this onto the end of. and. Um, We'll get that out for you guys. So this video won't go out until this, the clips from this video go out on the other channel. So um, make sure you guys watch the full edited version of this video on Everything Auto's channel and then you guys can come back and see how I edited this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, just gonna set up the camera and I'm just gonna start editing and as I make changes, I will let you guys know what changes I've made and why I've made those changes in the editing process so I can show you guys 
what it looks like and then what the final product is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and organize these clips in Filmora in the little editing tab down here. Um, so if you guys haven't watched my previous video on how I stay organized um, editing, uh, I do go over what the numbers in the clips mean and how I know uh, which clips are sequential and what order to place them in. Um, but I'll go ahead and go over that again once more really quick. So um, this first one on the SD card is obviously the one that was recorded first after the SD card was cleared. So this is 11716. So in order to find the next one in this sequential order, you're looking for ascending first numbers and then the rest numbers will, will be the same. So this one down here is 21716. So that means it's the same it's a, conti a continuation of this clip right here. So I'm just gonna scoot this over all the way to the end of the first clip. And then I'm gonna drag the second clip down here right after. There's no 31716, which tells me that the camera was turned off after this clip was finished recording. So now I'm gonna move on to the next one. So 11717 is gonna be the next clip right here. And of course, when I'm watching through, I'll put the transitions and everything. I just kind of like to have uh, continuing footage so I don't have to go looking for the next clip. Uh, I'll kind of do that until I get a good length of video there. And I don't see a 21717. 21717. Looks like there's not one, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on to 11718. Put that here. Okay, it looks like the 1-6 was the only clip that had a second, a continuation of it. So, 11719. And that looks like it's about it. Um, sometimes when I import the whole media file, it duplicates. So, it'll go, here's, looks like there's only four clips on this SD card, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it kind of duplicates again. Well, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes one, two, three, four, five again. So that looks like that's everything on this SD card. And it is about 13 and a half minutes long. So that's pretty good um, runtime to tack onto the end of the other video that I have from the leftover clips from the last SD card I edited. So now I'm just going to begin watching through and I'm also going to write down the, the uh, numbers of the clips that I used in my notebook here in sequential order so that I know which ones I've used and which ones I haven't. And if we needed to pull this SD card once more, I would know what clips were used for each video and the project name that I have in Filmora. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jot that down really quick. So that's five clips. And um, as you guys can see, um, I've already increased the volume. It's kind of just a reflex at this point. So I had a couple of comments on uh, the sound on some of the videos. So uh, I do want, I already addressed this once, but I do kind of want to address it here again. So as you guys could see, when I was dropping the clips, um, they would start at about this volume right here. That's just the volume that they're at when I import them into Filmora. Uh, but then every time that I drop a clip in, I always increase it to the full volume. Uh, so it, every clip that I have is exported at full volume unless there's like a blaring car alarm, which I'll decrease the volume and then kind of put little text boxes showing what was said, if I can understand what was said so that you guys don't have to listen over the car alarm trying to hear what's being said and then uh, the only other time I will decrease the volume is if there's music playing over the clip um, and usually the only time I'll put music over the clip is if nothing is being said in the clip so that's the only time that I export clips not at full volume every other time all of the clips are, ex are exported at full volume full volume being 12 decibels so that is my editing process in relation to the sound. So I did wanna show you guys what that looks like um, in Filmora in the editing process. So uh, the only other thing that would mess with the sound is if they were far away from the camera or if there was a lot of background noise, which both of those things um, have already happened by the time I get my hands on the footage. So 
just want to show you guys what that looks like uh, behind the scenes. So now what I'm going to do is uh, oftentimes I'll kind of cut out this little bit of footage where the sound is non-existent. Whenever you turn on the GoPro, it takes a few seconds for it to start recording sound. It records a couple seconds of video before it starts recording sound. And as you can see, those few seconds, it looks like he's just putting gloves on. So uh, typically what I'll do is I'll just make a cut and I'll get rid of the section of video where there's no sound. Sometimes I'll do that too um, right before a transition from one clip to another. So it'll do it every single time you record a new clip. For, so for example, whenever I go from this clip to the next clip, sometimes there'll be a little gap. So sometimes I'll just chop that right out of there and then put the transition overlay on there so that the sound is continuous. Unless there's something really interesting going on in those first couple of frames, then it usually gets cut. So there's our first cut right there. Okay, and as you can see, he's wearing a vest. So you can kind of see what's happening here. And then when he brings his arms together here, the vest is covering the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the last frame where you could actually see something. Probably right about there. Make a cut. And I'm just gonna get rid of this right here where you can't really see what's happening. And it's a little bit uh, annoying there. So he's putting the uh, chain on the tire so he can drag the car onto the flatbed. Uh, but the vest is covering the action there, it's still covering, you can kind of see what's happening, but he's just putting the hook around the chain, it goes dark again, woo! Okay, right about here. And I'm gonna go through and make sure that nothing important was said throughout this little clip right here, so that you guys don't miss any of the important conversation if there is any right there but I think he's just hooking the um, chain up around the tire right there in this little clip right here. Um, also I don't think this clip is going to be the beginning of a video but if it was the beginning I would take this custom everything auto clip right here and I would drop it right here at the beginning so that's what you usually see at the intro. And then what I have been doing is I go over here to Favorites in the Elements tab, and we've got this little subscribe, like notification here. So what I'll do is I will grab that, shrink it down, and I'll just move it right about there. So what that would look like is your typical intro, as of lately, look like this. Sometimes I'll also go through and I will put a little sound effect right before the mouse button clicks on the bell and the subscribe so that there's a little sound notification there too. But since that's not the beginning of the video, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and instead I'm just going to tack a little title here, make room for the transition that will exist between this clip and the last one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the date and of the recorded clip here. Alright, so date is going to be June 25th. And let's see here. June 25th was a Saturday. So I'm going to date this clip right here and this is really old guys I apologize things kind of got lost in translation there a little bit when I went on my honeymoon and this was under some stuff before I left on my honeymoon so I'm just going to put that right there and I think they're on the spur so what I usually do is I just tack another title card right after and I'll put the location of the where the video clip was recorded. Um, I'm gonna go back and watch one more time just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure this is 321 that connects Pigeon Forge to Gatlinburg. So that's what I've done so far. Okay, also what I like to do is I like to put the card, uh, the location card where the footage was recorded right as he says where where they are so i kind of just mark right where he's about to say where the location is and i put the title card there 
so I just flip-flopped the date in the in the title card so I put the date after the location because right here he mentions um, the location so right there okay so I've just watched this section of clip right here where his vest is covering the camera and you can't really tell what's going on and there's nothing important being said um, just a bunch of cars going by on the highway so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and now this looks like this And as you can see, once again, he kind of gets under the car, so you can't really tell what's being done there. Let me make another cut. Okay, so this little small clip right here is where the camera is being blocked by the bumper of the car, so I'm just going to cut that out right there. Nothing important is being said, it's just you can't really see anything. So now that looks like this. So smooth transition into where you can actually see what's going on in the frame. Okay, I made another cut here because, once again, vest is covering, nothing important is being said, he's wrestling around for tools, and it's just black for a good portion of that clip right there. And I cut right here right before something is being said, so they're talking right here, so even though the vest is kind of covering, I'm just going to leave it in so you can hear what's being said. So, now it's going to look like this. So, something's being said right here in this little clip. So he finds what he's looking for, vest is out of the way, nothing's being said here, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So. And there you go. Right here, got another cut, two cuts, because he goes to the cab of the truck to, I think, turn on the hydraulics, start winching. So it's completely black inside the cab of the truck. Nothing's being said. And then he turns back around, so I'm gonna get rid of that. It looks like this. Okay, one more go again here. Can't see anything since it's dark, and the vest is in the way. It's just detaching the chain to the flatbed, connecting the car. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, this clip right here, where the vest is covering the camera, I'm gonna get rid of that, so that looks like this. And this clip right here, he's just moving the roll back forward, just in the cab, dark, nothing being said. Moving it so that they can sweep up the glass and so the other tow company can get, I think there's another car involved, so there's another tow company that's going to need a share of the road, so. So it will look like he gets in and then he gets right back out. And the car is moved. Okay, this is from one clip to the next. This is 21716 and this is 11717. So I'm just gonna grab a transition. Doesn't really matter which one. I guess I'll try this one maybe, see how it looks. Sure. Alright, cut right here because there is silence in between what's being said and they're just in the car. So I'm going to make the sentences closer together so there's talking consistently. And then I'm just going to cut the last little bit of this clip where they're, cut, where they're turning the camera off and then transition to this next one. Alright, I cut the last little bit of that clip off where they're cutting the camera off. Put a little transition in between. And so it looks like... Okay, I'm going to make another cut right here because he's reaching into the cab to get a flashlight. It's not really necessary and it's really bright right there, so I'm just going to cut that. It's going to look like this. Alright, cutting off the last little bit of this clip here where he turns the camera off and it's a little bit shaky. And I'll try a new transition here between these two. I've already watched the beginning of this clip, so nothing needs to be trimmed there. And that's what it looks like. 
All right, I'm gonna cut off the last little bit of this clip here where he turns the camera off, no talking, nothing like that. And at the beginning, I think this clip is about 13 and a half minutes long, all these together. After the trimming, it's about 11 minutes and 17 seconds. So that's what it works out time-wise. That's the length of the clip. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the other clip that's about 21 minutes long and I'm gonna tack it on right before this clip and then this will be the end of a video. So that's it guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching the editing process in real time, what it looks like, how I make decisions on what stays and what goes. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel, check out Everything Auto's channel, and I'll see you guys next time.